I'm Ken Bianco Jr. from Train World, and today we're going to talk about the 2021 MTH Rail King Diesel Locomotive RS3 smoke unit overheating issue. Now, uh, when these came out, MTH uh, accidentally uploaded the wrong smoke unit file to this engine, causing some of the units to overheat. So we want to fix that. Um, MTH did send out a email on this. However, we found it to be a little confusing and a lot more information than what's actually needed. So just stay tuned and we're going to walk you through the steps how to do this easily. All right, so the first step we want to do is go to mthtrains.com backslash dcs dash consumer dash loader dash program dash version dash 50. So once we go here, we're on MTH's DCS consumer loader program version 5.0 uh, page, we're going to fill out the information and simply click go to software down download page. So we're going to click on that. And again, we're going to download this uh, loader program right here. So we're going to now click on that. And basically we want to, um, I'm going to put this on my desktop, which makes it easier to find. So you're going to hit browse um, and then desktop. And then you're going to want to run unzip. So, uh, and I don't have uh, unzip, so I'm just gonna unzip it here. So let's do that. Two files unzip successfully. So basically I went to browse to the desktop. I chose my desktop to find it easily. And then I clicked on unzip. So now that I unzipped it, we're gonna minimize this and Basically, you'll have these two up and you're going to click on this to run. And once you click on this file, um, you basically now download the program, which turns into the shortcut to MTH DCS consumer loader. So once you have this loaded, uh, you've completed step one. So moving on to step two. Okay, so now let's talk about hardware. Now in MTH video, they give a lot of different things that you may need. And uh, although it's helpful for all different things, the only thing you need for this uh, update is basically a USB to, I don't even know what the end of this is called, but uh, it basically looks like this. And this is on the newer versions. If you have an older version, you're going to basically get a cable that goes from here and I believe there's a splitter that turns into a USB so basically you could for the older uh, TIUs you go from this port into your laptop or um, a more easy way to do it is this cable um, it basically looks like one of those printer uh, cables and it goes into here in the TIU and then you're also going to plug this into your laptop. So that's the only wire that you need for this. Um, we, we watched other videos and they mentioned, um, you know, audio inputs or uh, telephone wires. You do not need those. So just that one wire to connect. So that's uh, phase two. <laughs> Okay, so now we got our wire and also the DCS um, programmer on our computer. Now we're going to go to the actual item on MTH's page. We're going to go to support and we're going to click this ProtoSound 3 uh, icon right here. And basically this downloads a file to your computer and what I did prehand I have this icon right here of, on my desktop that says MTH um, and it's just an empty folder that I created generic so I could put that file inside of it. 
So again, we clicked on Protosound 3 and then a file came up. So we're gonna click on that. And unfortunately, these have to be extracted, these two files. So you can't save this until you extract it. So I'm gonna click on Extract All. However, I'm going to put it into the folder that I named MTH to make life simple. So we're selecting that folder and we are going to extract those two files into that folder. Okay, so now we have two files into this, um, uh, I guess, folder that I selected as MTH. So we have that all step. So that's step three complete. All right, and for the next step, we're going to now click on Shortcut to MTH DCS Consumer Loader. We're gonna click on Yes to open it. And now, basically what we wanna do, we wanna connect our laptop or uh, computer to our TIU. So before we do anything on this, what I'm gonna do here is, um, we are going to disconnect the wire. Um, I don't even know what this end is called, but uh, it looks like a printer cable, so I'll go with that. So we're gonna disconnect that. We are going to shut down our Z4000, which is connected to RTIU. So you may have a Z1000 or some kind of power connected to your TIU. So what I wanna do is start fresh and again, this has to be disconnected and we have to give track power to the TIU first before we do anything. So we turned on the Z4000, which is connected to the TIU. We are going to uh, give the power and you see the red light in the TIU. So you know the TIU is working. If you could, let's see if we could get the red light going. So we're up and alive there. So now that we're all set up there, we got uh, power, it knows that it's connecting to the TIU. Now we could connect here. And again, one error that we did in the beginning is we watched a, a different video and they talked about putting uh, input jacks in the audios and also um, uh, hooking other wires. You don't need to do any of that, just this one wire. So now that we're connected the proper way, we're gonna to move to the next step. Okay, I'm not sure what step we're on, but it's the next one. And basically we're going to sync this DCS Consumer Loader V5 app to RTIU. And in order to do that, we're gonna go into options, serial port, and auto search for TIU. So this box will uh, come up and it says close all the programs, disconnect all the power, uh, connect. So we basically did that in the previous step, uh, apply power to TIU input, we did that, and we're gonna click start to run. So now it actually found it, very good, so success. So now our laptop and DCS consumer is connected to our TU and we could move on to the next step. Okay, so we got our Army RS3 on the track, and basically what we wanna do is, now that we have everything co connected on the laptop and the, uh, the TIU, we need to load the code chain file, which uh, I don't know exactly what that means, but basically this icon right here, we're gonna send flash code to the engine. So we're gonna click on that, and hit start and we're going to select the file that we did before so this is mth and this is the file that we were looking for so we're going to double click that and now it's loading the whole program to the engine track so we're going to wait here and it takes some time to complete 
But basically, once this is over, you're gonna hear a loud beeping noise. And that basically means that it's over and done with. So um, you just gotta wait for the whole process to send the code and um, just wait and hang out. It says, uh, should be quick, but you never know. So hang tight. Okay, so now it sent the code to the engine and it's complete. I'm gonna turn off the power. So we cut it off. Now we're gonna go back again. So after you shut it down, it will beep a couple of times, and that's when you know you're finished. So it's all done, and we're good, and I uh, hope this helped.